Hello everybody and welcome to another snapshot tutorial video on the Brilliant BIX series and today we are going to be looking at setting up and, and kind of understanding what our content voice is. This is going to focus on the just released TTS that we have brought to the Brilliant BI 20 and 40X. Um, we've had a couple of videos. This video will again focus on that content voice piece of things. Remember that to toggle your speech once you have updated, the command to do that is space with your leftmost or the previous thumb key. So when I do that, I will turn speech off or on. I am on my main menu. I am going to turn speech on by pressing space with my previous thumb key and then letting them go. Speech on. All General. right. And we've gone through the speech settings menu. Hopefully you've watched that video and also uh, gone through kind of what the speak word under cursor setting is. Here I want to talk about content voice and there are two kind of voices. You have a system voice, which is the menus and kind of what voice is used when, when all of those things are spoken. And you can also add an additional voice um, to your unit. So again, there are four TTS voices to choose from at launch. We have Sharona, Will, those are both English, and then Margot um, in French. And we have a Spanish voice as well, that is Rosa. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press O with space to come into my options menu. User settings. And our first piece here is user settings. W the way I configure my profiles now, uh, has now changed. I will need to move to language profiles. This used to be called Braille profiles, but now your profile contains DTS uh, choices. So we've changed the name from Braille profiles to language profiles. I'm going to press the letter L. Language profile to move to language profile and I'm going to press enter English now I'm placed on a list of profiles I can certainly configure these by using M with space or I can press the letter C once I'm in this uh, language profile menu to move to the configure profile option configure profile going to press enter or a cursor router key here English and I'm presented with a list of profiles that I have on my device based on how I've configured them and I can, you know, then mess with the, the settings, my contracted Braille table, um, the preferred Braille, Braille grade for entry, um, and, and other pieces. So I'm going to use my space bar to move to the profile I'd like to configure. Uh, on this device, Spanish. I have English, I have Spanish. I'm going to choose English from this list. English. I'm going to press enter on it. Profile name. And you're placed in the profile name edit box. Again, you can name the profile whatever you would like. I'm going to use my next thumb key and we'll look at the traditional options that have been available. Braille grade. Contracted Braille. So this is saying, what is my current Braille grade set to? We have our, our, you know, our preferred grades for display. What is our various computer Braille, literary Braille tables? But there is a new option here called Content Voice. And this, by default, will be the same as your System Voice. So if you're in English, this, these would both be set to Sharona. But if you want your Content Voice, you can either turn it off. There may be times where you only want your menus to be read out loud, and maybe you just want to read in Braille um, when you're in the editor or when you're in Victor Reader. But the content voice is the voice that will be used when you're reading content in those two applications, Victor Reader and Editor. I'm going to press the letter C to find this option. Compute, contract, content voice, will. Mine is currently set to will, but if I press enter here, again, if you have an additional voice added, will. you can choose what you want that to be, or Sharona, none. you have a none option in this menu. So you can turn your content voice off, meaning when you go into Victor Reader or you go into the editor where traditionally you, you could read, you know, have read aloud the text uh, environment that you're editing, you would have nothing spoken. I'm going to set this to Will. And again, this is a great example of, let's say you have another voice um, and it's, you know, maybe you speak French or Spanish. You can have your content voice read in that language if you're opening files in that language. Or you could certainly configure a, an additional language profile. Just a couple ways to, to, to think about how you can get this done. I'm going to set mine to Will. Sharona, Will. Just so you can hear what happens. Content voice, Will. So I've set it to Will. I pressed a enter on Will, and now it says content voice, Will. And I'm going to press my space bar. Save configuration. To move down to the save configuration option, and I'm going to press enter. So at this point, I've English. saved my configuration. I'm placed back in my language uh, profiles menu. So again, O with space, we went to language profiles, we configured profile, and then we chose the profile we wanted to configure, and we set our content voice. 
at this point, if I go into the editor, which I'm going to do, I'm going to use the new shortcut command of backspace enter with the letter E to move into my editor. What happens is I have a sentence written here and I'm going to come to the top top and you hear that my voice because it is sent to will is now going to read the content in a different voice than my menus. So if I press G with space, which is my read all command, this is a test. We hear will tell me this is a test as opposed to Sharona. You can, by all means, have your content voice set to the same as your, your system voice. But uh, just to demonstrate that you can either disable that content voice option or you can set it to a different TTS engine. Those engines are configured under speech settings. So keep in mind, you can have two on your device at a time. And it, when you add an additional voice, you do have to restart your unit. Hope this has been helpful. Again, this video was kind of looking at how we can set our content voice. If we do have that disabled, we're not going to get anything in our Victor Reader or Editor environment. Always remember that in the Braille Editor, there is no text-to-speech. That is a Braille-centric environment meant for a Braille uh, user to take shorthand notes or write all kinds of nonsense that will not be translated, although you could export if you need to. Hope this has been helpful. Have a wonderful day, and we are very excited about bringing another update to the Brilliant BI20 and 40X series.